riding superstars and welcome to Dressage Mastery TV. Today I'm going to answer the question, what do you do when your horse gets heavy and on the forehand? So, super, super question happens to all of us. Ugh. Don't we wish it didn't? That we just ride these amazing, light, effortless dressage horses. But we have to train them to be effortlessly dr light dressage horses. So, the best thing you can do with a horse that um, wants to go on the forehand and gets heavy in the hand is transition. So the minute you go, you don't go. Good boy. And there he went a little bit against my hand. Did you see that? He kind of went heavy and strong in the hand. So he's not allowed to do that. I'm going to use a little bit more leg. So trot and walk. And he's not, so I'm at the minute, I'm literally asking two steps, trot, walk, two steps, trot, walk, two steps, trot, walk. The minute I've applied and asked for the trot, I'm then sitting, blocking with my seat, half halt and saying, now I want to go back to walk. And he's running through that a little bit. Uh, 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 you can see that. That is definitely not two steps of trot. Ah, good boy, good boy. Uh, uh, uh. So there he ran and just got a little bit heavy again. Uh, brah. Now the point of why we do this is that he never, okay, so we didn't actually get to trot on that one. Uh, so <laughs> this is why most people don't ride Frisians. They're a little bit like brontosauruses. Takes a long time. Uh, 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 uh. So he really ran through on that one. So I've just done a hot rain back. Um, Yes, and yet yeah, the reason this exercise is so good is because he can never braff. He can never um, fall on the forehand because basically I'm saying stay on your hind legs the whole time. Go, don't go. <laughs> and now you can see this is such a good exercise for so many things. Is my horse reactive to my leg? Give me a score, zero to 10. I'd give it a two. I'm asking, I'm asking, I'm asking. Oh. Well, that just took way too long. It was way too hard. And dressage horses shouldn't be like that. They should be going from the lightest leg. So he should be trotting. He's got a huge delay and then a huge delay in coming back. He's got to go. Ah, except he didn't go. But at least he was staying on his hind legs. Better. Ah, uh ah. -uh. But yes, if I was riding this horse and training this horse, which I'm not anymore, I would say, ah. See, that's really bad. He totally ran through my comeback to me aid. Better. Yeah, so you can do that for ages. Trot, walk, trot, walk, trot, walk, walk, trot, walk. Or you can do trot. Depends how heavy the horse is. So you can trot and then you can go, okay, I'm going to walk two steps. And then the minute you walk, you ask for trot again. And again, you can see he's not in front of my leg. He's not where he needs to be because I need to apply a lot of leg just to get back into trot. That's not how it's meant to be. And again, the reaction to walk, it's taking too long. He's getting too, you know, he wants to throw down. He wants to do other things, which is just what happens because he's not trained to be exact anymore. Uh, uh, uh. But you can train that back again. So try those exercises to keep your horse up and sitting where it's meant to be, which is over here. And you do that by doing really short, sharp transitions. And again, giving yourself a score and trying to improve on that going, when I apply the lightest leg, the horse has to go. And when I apply the lightest slow down, come back to me aid, the horse has to come back now. Not when he wants to in five strides, but now. If you liked today's episode, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And if you want to leave a comment, I read all my comments, so let us know how this helped. If you would like some more dressage help, I have a completely free ultimate seat package, which is filled with videos, training plans, a 30 day training plan, uh, bonus videos and bonus explanations of what you need to do in your training for the next 30 days. I would love to give that to you for free. Just click on the link below and check that out. And remember, live your dreams.